Man, oh man, oh man. So, uh, according to an NBC reporter who is very credible, has a very good history of reporting only accurate news, has just reported that partial remains were found in the Carlton Reserve near a backpack with items that were consistent with items that Brian may have had. I'm a little bit lost for words right now. I'm feeling a a great deal of anger and frustration as somebody who has been covering this case heavily. And the fact that Brian Laundrie was able to even leave his home under, you know, uh, the watchful eye, supposedly, of Northport, who said they knew where he was, and they clearly didn't, is just absolutely infuriating. And this is um, quite the tragedy, to say the least. Um, the entire story as a whole. And although they have not confirmed this via the police, and we do not know if it is Brian Laundry, it sure as heck sounds like it. So again, stay tuned. I may be doing more updates throughout the day as it stands right now. Allegedly, partial remains were located. This is not the ending I wanted, and I just did this whole video about him using burner phones and, you know, apps, and I came to this conclusion that I do think he was close to home, and I know that so many thought that he wasn't in the Carlton Reserve. I did feel that he could be in the Carlton Reserve since it was close to home, although I was of the mindset that he was still alive and that he was too cowardly to end his life. Um, We don't know, obviously, again, if it's him and whether or not he took his life or if something happened to him, if it is him. But we will hopefully be finding that information out soon. (sighs) Sorry, I'm just feeling a little bit... I'm feeling angry. (laughs) I'm just really angry right now. And I just did not want this to be the outcome. So, again, stay tuned.